Here we're asked to determine whether the following molecules involve hydrogen bonding, CH2F2, CH3OH, and H2CO. First, we'll need to consider how those molecules are bonded by writing Lewis structures for all three of them, and those are given here. When you write the Lewis structure, you can get more detailed information about what atoms are bonded to what other atoms. Now we're going to look for hydrogen directly bonded to either nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine, and you can see that only the middle structure has hydrogen bonded directly to an oxygen. And so the first structure, CH2F2, has no hydrogen bonding. The second one involves hydrogen bonding, and the third one involves no hydrogen bonding. You have to be very careful. You can't simply look at the formula for a molecule in order to determine if hydrogen bonding exists, because the first molecule in this case CH2F2 has hydrogen and fluorine next to one another in the formula, yet when you draw the Lewis structure, you see that those are not bonded to one another. In molecules where hydrogen bonding exists, there will be a fairly significant force of attraction between adjacent molecules in the liquid state that consists of an electrostatic attraction between the partially positive hydrogen of one molecule and the partially negative charged oxygen of an adjacent molecule. And that force of attraction can affect the physical properties of the substance.